so Biomax uh, is the only actually marine project in biodiversity. And I have just taken this glass of water from the sea. And in this glass of water, you have about you know, a billion uh, bodies, organisms. You know, everyone would know what, more or less, what a virus, a bacteria, a plant, or an animal is. But there is a fifth category of living organisms, which are the protists. And in fact, protists are, are, they are called eukaryotes because they are unicellular organisms with a nucleus inside which contains the genetic material. Protists are the ancestors of plants and animals, but they are different than bacteria and viruses. And for me, they are really the least known, you know, piece of life on Earth. So it's very important to, to, uh, to understand what they are doing in the, in the environment. Uh, within uh, Biomarks, I, um, I work with identifying species uh, and I do that by uh, using light and electron microscopy. Uh, uh, and um, I look, for, uh, uh, look at their morphology and um, for certain characters that I can use for identifying them. The Biomarks sample uh, many places in Europe. It's a collaboration between uh, Norway, uh, France, Spain, Italy, and uh, we have samplings in all these countries. And I've been uh, part of the sampling in Oslo and also in Roscoff, and I hope to be a part of the sampling in some of the other places as well. And then we want to link the diversity to the physical chemical parameters of the water. And we will insist on, on parameters that are you know, threatening the ecology, like ocean acidification and uh, pollution. So we'll have different sites in more or less acidified water and polluted sites. And we'll you know, link this huge diversity, how it varies according to the, to the environment. The Roscoff Culture Collection, we're, we're one of the largest uh, culture collections uh, of, of microalgae in France and in fact in the world. So cultures uh, are, are very interesting in, in many contexts, in the environmental context and more applied context. In terms of environment, there's uh, research on, on toxin. Yes, the aim in the future is uh, to get a lot of data and to establish the baseline of protist diversity and this is only by novel sequencing technologies uh, which is able to, to get this data. Uh, establishing how many species there are in the environment and also because we have sampling sites in different places in the European coast, we can also compare the diversity in different places which is also a very interesting question. We have no idea how diverse protists are. What we know is that they are complex organisms. They have genomes which contain very often more genes than humans. So what we will discover is you know, an immense diversity of species and genes and metabolisms that have you know, tremendous importance for global ecology. In fact, we know that protists have relocated massive amounts of, of elements on the planet, like oxygen, carbon, and also they have many genes that can be important for you know, pharmaceutics or, or to understand how the global ecology works. So we are, we are going to discover a lot, a lot of 
very important diversity to understand the Earth system as a whole.